What's up? This is Casey from Casey's Customs. In this series, I am building a hot rod for under $3,500. We're air bagging it, we're chopping it, we're channeling it. We did a complete chassis swap. And in this video, we get started on the turbocharger and we also start to finish up our front sheet metal. Let's get going. What's up? We are back on the 1951 Chevy. This is our under $3,500 project. And in this episode, we're going to start on the turbo. Um, it's a little bit daunting because <laughs> it's a lot of parts. Uh, if you haven't seen one of the videos before, it came in a box with like a hundred and something pieces. So we get to kind of figure that all out. All the times I've done turbos before, I've had to make everything. This kit is... I don't know that it's complete bolt-on, but it's pretty much mostly bolt-on, so it should be, should be simple, but I don't know about that. On the last episode, I got started on the front end, and we got our fender stretched five inches, and it's time to start making mounts for all those, because this is just sitting there, everything's loose, but I want to go ahead and get started on the turbo, because if I need to cut anything for clearance on my hood or on my fenders or whatever, the radiator, any of that, or if I need to cut some stuff in here because the intercooler goes in here, now is the time to do that before I get all these fender braces made. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the front end off while we still can. We will tackle the turbo and everything that comes with it. And then once we get all that in there, I will know where everything's gonna go. This turbo has a giant intercooler, as you can see. And I think, I think that's supposed to go in the front here. And I'm already kind of realizing I don't have a ton of room, so we might have to get creative. But let's go ahead and yank this front clip off. So you should definitely have two people when you take a front end off. That way you don't hurt anything or, you know, cause damage. I am too impatient for that. So we're just going to fuck some shit up. Oops, that's not good. Yep. Oh, that's great. instructions which is fine we're gonna figure it out as we go the problem is as I'm looking at this motor everything is really packed in there tight I'm not seeing where I'm gonna get a turbo down in there I mean I don't know hmm yeah and see I don't I thought I thought that originally went on the passenger side but I think that's the driver side the turbo is supposed to go in the back that doesn't make sense because you got your steering and your brake there. I don't know about this shit. I'm quite confused. Um, I don't see any pictures online of it. Not with this kit that I have. I don't know. Kind of in a standstill. I don't know what to do. What I think I need to do probably is get these inner fenders stripped. Get all this shit off of here, which I really didn't want to have to undo a bunch of stuff. But it's looking like I'm going to. Just to just to get down in those exhausts, I gotta get a, a bunch of this shit out of the way. They are way down in there. I mean, I don't even know how. I don't even know how I'm gonna get that exhaust off. Let alone get the damn get it swapped out in the turbo. Hmm. We might put a pin on this for the rest of today until I can figure out exactly how this shit goes together. The one thing I read. They put these 4.3s in a lot of different motors. They put them in their bigger Chevy trucks. And even though this said this went to a Blazer, um, some of the things I read online where they said they can be for the trucks, the trucks had literally twice as much room. I mean, there's a foot in between your frame rails on the trucks, whereas on the Blazer, I mean, it is a tight bitch. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just put a pin on this. Probably see what I can find online before I start getting too crazy and uh, go from there. Yeah. The next day. Okay, so it is the next day. 
I talked to the seller of the turbo kit and they were like, no instructions, figure it out yourself, which is super cool. That's pretty, you know, cheap eBay stuff. That's, that's pretty much standard. But the problem is everywhere I look this kit up, I can't find the same setup with anybody. And I think this kit, I think this is my driver's side exhaust and somehow it's supposed to go on there about right there so i don't even know how you would get a turbo on that so not happy also once i started going through stuff i'm missing some things which i don't love anyways what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take this off if we're gonna run a turbo it has to be on the passenger side there's just no room on the other side so i'm gonna get all this over here stripped we're gonna yank off the passenger side exhaust. Hopefully I'm gonna make something work. I'm gonna get it all taken apart, get it all ripped apart. We're gonna look at it. We're gonna make an executive decision. If it doesn't look like it's gonna work or this kit just isn't right, we're just gonna bail on it because I'm not happy. I'm not happy with, I'm not happy with a lot of this kit. And also it came with like so much random shit that I've never seen on a turbo. Like there's like two, there's two waste gates and stuff. I, I don't understand. So, but anyways, what we're gonna do, we're gonna yank apart this passenger side and if it's gonna work, if we're gonna make it work, it's gonna have to be over there. So at the very least, I can get it all taken apart and we'll see what we can come up with. I'm okay with making stuff. I can, obviously I'm a welder, I'm a fabricator. I can make the piping if I need to. If it looks like I get that all apart and I still don't have room, we're just, I'm just gonna bail on it. Cause I'm not, I'm not gonna run a turbo in the trunk or any crazy shit like that. Like I don't, I don't like that. So anyways. Not very happy that uh, that's the information I came up with, but let's start ripping into this bitch. So here is the old one. Great news, this fits. I just bolted it up there. The only thing is I want to make sure I have plenty of room for the downpipe, which this looks like it's going to be really tight, but I think we can get it figured out. Good news is this does bolt on and all of our turbo stuff comes off of here. So I'm going to try and get this bolted up and then we'll see if we can't kind of fit it back in there. But great news because I was not 100% sure that this was going to fit on there. This is the passenger side, um, which is nice. It said pass on it, so I thought maybe, but no. This is, I think, I think, I think, we're saying that three times. I think the way they originally wanted to run this was both of these have a front kick out, and then these would actually go across and connect to each other and then go out that way. I think what I'm going to do is, because I don't want to try and mess with taking off my factory driver side, what I'm going to do is... Leave the factory one going down, you know, out and normal like it normally does. And then what I want to do with this one is have it come out. You can see I left the pipe there. I want it to come out, make a little wrap, and then go back into there. So that'll kind of all be hidden and it won't have to go across, which I think is maybe what they were trying to do. I don't know. Maybe on a maybe on a two-wheel drive, they don't have stuff there, but four-wheel drive, I just don't have room to do any of that. And my driver's side is just way too compact to even bother trying to take the headers off of there. I'm going to leave my stock header. It works fine. These are not any different. These aren't bigger. You know, they're, they're, the, they're the same as stock. So I have no want to change the driver's side. But let's say we can't try and get this back on there. Two hours later. Check it out. It's on. Got the manifold on there. Had to kind of file some stuff. I'm going to have to drill these holes so this will sit a little bit better, but it's bolted up and I actually have the pipe coming off of the manifold. It is actually kind of down and starting to hook, so we'll be able to run that back. So, so I'm going to put the turbo on and originally I thought it would shoot out this way and then, you know, it would go to your intercooler, but it looks like if I run it that way, it's going to run into the tire. So it's going to have to go up this way. And then, I don't know, maybe bend back around. I don't know, the inner, inner tube, the inner cooler tubing, uh, I'm gonna have to figure out. It's 
not making sense to me yet. But once we start bolting stuff up, we can kind of figure it out. So let's get this turbo on. Turbo is on. <laughs> it's looking pretty bitchin'. Uh, intercooler, I'm not understanding how we're going to do that. I mean, that needs to get up here somehow. I don't know how we're going to do that. I mean, you can run it without the intercooler, and it's a straight shot, basically. Um, I can use my tubing here and pretty much just run it straight to that, really. I mean, in reality, I can even turn that around and just pretty much just a straight shot to it, which would be easy, but... We have the intercooler, so I'd kind of like to use it. We also need to get creative with our... It sucks air from there, so we need to get an air filter on that somehow. Um, it came with a cone filter, but I don't know how it would go on there, so... We gotta figure some stuff out, and I have a nasty feeling we're gonna have to order some parts, because universal shit ain't really cutting it, and, like, this tube doesn't have a sharp enough bend here... And also, it's too big. It's way too big for this. So I need like an adapter. And I don't know. I, I think what I might do is start kind of figuring out where the intercooler is going to go. And then if I can get my piping like to here to my intercooler, then I know I just had to figure something out. What I could do, because I have room up here actually, because the, the Chevy hood is tall. What I could do is run it almost like a 180 and then back out like that. I don't know. Let's start kind of putting these pipes together and see if we can't get something figured out. And at least, at the very least, I can get it laid out to where I know I need to order some parts. So I'm kind of getting the intercooler figured out. We definitely need to cut down here. I need to get rid of some of this, which is fine. This is still not tied into anything. So I think the plan is to get this shit cut, get the inner cooler kind of set to where it needs so I can order some parts for like my funky bins that I'm gonna need. And uh, then we can start bracing some of this stuff up. So at least I can get the turbo sorted out where it's gonna go, order the shit we need and uh, start bracing some stuff up and maybe throw the front clip back on and see how this fits. I already know this is gonna be a problem up here, but I'm hoping there's enough meat inside there that I can kind of cut away, but we'll see. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we're not cutting this out and adding an inch because that would suck. But if I have to do it, I have to do it. But let's get this stuff trimmed and start getting this intercooler put together. If you squint your eyes just right, just, just squint them. It kind of looks cool as shit. <laughs> it almost looks like... A turbo system. This should just go up into here. I think I will take this off but keep the mass airflow sensor. But I think this will look a lot better if I just have this go all the way up to there. Maybe put the mass airflow sensor there. So I don't know. I need to figure that out. I'd like to get rid of this if I can. If I can't, it's certainly not the end of the world. This isn't a, uh, you know, like super detailed engine or anything. These, these aren't the prettiest looking engines. So it's not that big of a deal. But I'd like to if I can. And then... Over here, here's what I was talking about with my funky bins. See, I need to come up with something that can go like that. A 180 and then a 90. So I'm going to go get online. I'm sure I can buy it or buy a bunch of bins where I can weld it up together. It's, it's aluminum. I don't really weld aluminum, but I can kind of get it close where I can take it to somebody. I can tack it with these uh, Blue Demon welding rods. They're like triple play aluminum brazing rods. I can get those close enough if I have to where I can get some stuff figured out. But... It looks kind of cool. I'm excited, but it's like one o'clock at night, so I'm going to bed. <laughs> so it is the next day, and I've ordered a bunch of tubing. Uh, I got a 180. That should it's either going to come that way or that way. Go straight to there. I have a 90 bend off of this where I can run an air filter right here, and then I have a V band coming that'll go here, and then this exhaust. I'm trying to just shoot right back down. I don't know if you can see it, back to the stock exhaust right there. So I got all that coming. Won't be here till next week though. So what we're gonna work on this video is I wanna get this mounted. I think I'm gonna drill some holes through here 
And then I found a piece of I-beam, a little pissy I-beam. I think I'm gonna run it across here, bolt that in, and then this will bolt to that in theory. So hopefully we can get all that mounted and then probably try and start fitting the front end back on. I know I'm gonna, it's gonna be tricky, but hopefully we can figure it out. I really don't wanna have to stretch this anymore, but if I do, now is the time to do it. Oh, also my drill is down at my other shop. So I'm gonna go grab the drill. And while I'm there, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the sheet metal out for this. Regardless of how big it's gonna be, I just need to get some sheet metal because I don't have any here at the shop. Uh, but I do have some down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those pieces while I'm down there and bring the drill back. And hopefully we can get this thing mounted and the front end thrown on. figured out. Is there anything better than a brand new sharp drill bit? I love it. Have old shitty ones laying around. You just spend some good money on drill bits. That's not even an ad or anything. I'm just happy. Okay. I think we can bolt this up now. Check it out. It is in there. I don't know if you can see it from here, can you? She's kind of trying to peek out. There it is. Good news is it has lots of airflow underneath and above it, so it should be plenty cold. I really wasn't sure it was gonna fit, but we did some trimming and actually got quite a bit of room in there. Don't have to stretch those anymore, which I like. Also, I raised these up about an inch higher than they were, which not only made my gaps better, it was apparently laying down anyway. Not only did it make my door gaps better, but it gave me even more room for all my turbo stuff over here. I got plenty of room. So I should be able to just run down here. My exhaust shouldn't have issues, shouldn't. I made my fender mounts, got some quarter inch plate, bent up some stuff. This is all real solid now. I think we got our front end where we want it. I'm gonna go ahead while we're at it, try and see if I can get the hood on there. I'm worried about how much shit is here in these corners. I can't really lose much more of that. I might have to cut the bracing out of the hood and make my own bracing, but I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna throw it up there and see how bad it fits, but I might have to get rid of this, this corner at the very least, because that is a lot of shit that I don't think is gonna work out. I could, I could cut my vents up and like make new vents, but I really like that my AC vents are all working and they all kind of are where they need to be. So, I don't know. We'll throw it up there and see how bad it is. We are going to have to lengthen it as well. So, we'll go ahead and cut across it somewhere. Probably in the middle somewhere. I don't know. I'll have to see. I'll throw it up there and we'll see how it fits. I'm going to look like an asshole throwing this up there. But I'm not going to time lapse it. So, that way you can at least laugh at me. Okay. Okay. 
kind of got it up there. It's not really up there very great, <laughs> but I'm angling it back a little bit to match the hump a little bit better. This is stretched a little bit and it doesn't have structure in there. So it's sunk down a little bit, but I kind of like that. Um, back in the day, they would call that a pancake job. You would actually come in here and cut some of the bulge out. And uh, I like the way it looks. So it's crooked as hell because I have no structure, but I'm gonna put a couple pieces in here like I did on the fenders to hold it together. And uh, we'll probably call this an episode because I got a bunch of hours in this and uh, I got other shit to do, but I don't hate it. We just need to definitely get it squared up. For now, I just wanna get some sheet metal in there to hold this in one piece. Okay, it's attached. We got it stretched. Got a ton of sheet metal work to do, but we're not going to do it this episode because I got about 25 hours in this week, and that's a lot of hours when you're doing it on the side. <laughs> I got a bunch of stuff that needs done at the shop, so we're going to call it here. Fuck, it looks good. Can't believe we got the turbo in there. I got so much more room than I was even expecting. I mean... I think I'm probably going to still be able to run the battery up here. I don't even know if I'm going to have to relocate the battery. But I'm going to wait to uh, make that decision because obviously there is a lot of tubing and shit that needs to go over there. So we will wait. That stuff's supposed to come in, I believe, next Tuesday. So whenever I get all that, we will probably pop this front end off, finish up the hood. I'll probably go ahead and just start sheet metaling all this stuff. I don't know. The turbo might be its own thing. But if I have time, I want to get the turbo all the tubing run, and I'm gonna get the sheet metal filled in. I picked up some sheet metal from the other shop, so. Cool, thanks for watching, love you, peace. Thank you guys very much for watching. I didn't get as far along the turbocharger setup as I wanted to in this video, but we did have to order some parts. So in the next video, we will start to figure out all of our turbo tubing, our intercooler and exhaust tubing, and hopefully we can kind of finish up some of this front sheet metal. I'd really like to get this hood squared away it's not really square, it's kind of funky. I mean, I did get the supports put in there, but it has a dip here and there. So we need to do a bunch of sheet metal work on the hood and the front fenders, but I wanna go ahead and finish up some of the turbo stuff before we do that. So I should get all those parts in Tuesday of next week. So we should be able to do all that on the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff they tell you to do at the end of videos and check out some more of my other videos. Peace, love ya. Yeah.